up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Here I am taking it outside today with a big dude here. His name is Will Beckman. He plays Division I football, University of Duke, defensive end. So right away, you guys should know, this is not going to be a checkers workout. This is a badass football workout that we like to do and utilize a field for. And even if you're not a football player and you're looking for an overall incredible conditioning workout, we have something here we call the Captain America Challenge. All right, What that is, you guys know I train Captain America David Wright, but it's not a baseball workout. This is using just one Olympic plate, and what we're going to do is basically go through a series of three movements, power movements. Again, great for football players, great for guys that just want to be explosive. We're going to start with a chest throw, so basically Will's going to take the plate up from here, get down almost like a thruster, throw the thing as far as he can, sprint after it, pick it up, go into a discus throw. This is where the Captain America part comes from. He's going to wind up and rotate his hips. It's a real important point. You don't want to leave your hips behind because there's a lot of torque in your low back. So you wind up using your lower body, turn, pivot, and throw as far as you can. Run after it, grab it, throw the other side, right? Symmetry, you have to be symmetrical. So he's going to do that all the way down the field. When he gets down to the end of the field, he's going to pick it up, one hand farmer's walk. I'll give you a great tip on the farmer's walk down there. Then he's going to sprint it back 100 yards, walk back for his rest, and repeat it. All right? You ready, Earl? Yeah, let's do All it. All right, here we go. So he's going to start off with the chest pass or chest throw. <sighs> nice. Oh, he gets the luck of the roll. The luck of the roll. Now he sprints after it, picks it up, and <sighs> there we go. Now, where does the Captain America challenge come from? It comes <sighs> from the number of times it takes you to throw this thing down the field. Anybody that can do this under 20 times passes the challenge. How do you determine what weight you should be using? If you are a guy, <laughs> that thing's dangerous. If you're a guy that weighs about 160 pounds or less, 170 pounds, like between 150 and 200, use a 35 pound plate. Over 200, I want the 45 pounder. Under 150, a 25 pounder. Will's got to be at around eight here. Again, Division One athlete, a little bit of different standard. With my athletes, I probably would have lowered the bar down to around 15. Nice. A few more, you'll be there. Loads up, throws, opens the hips. The luck of the roll all the way through the goal line. Throw me one more. There we go. Now, the farmer's walk. The traditional farmer's walk, you can pause here for a second. Normally you wouldn't. Traditional farmer's walk, guys will hold here, their fingers around here. You want to make it a lot harder, a lot more for your forearm, release your pinky. That one little effect of releasing the pinky puts a lot more stress on the forearm flexion scale. Makes it a lot harder. That's how we're going to do it. One-sided makes the obliques on the opposite side work to stabilize. Pinky off, nice and tall, upright. He's not going to allow this thing to lean him down to the right-hand side. You can stay nice and tall. Get that pinky way out. Extend it out. There you go. What happens if he drops it? 25 plyo push-ups. Right in place. Then he can pick it up and keep it going. Come on. Keep it going. You don't want to do those uh, uh oh, he did the plyo push-ups. <laughs> no, all the way up. Get those hands clear. Up, up. There you go. Come on. <laughs> There's got to be a punishment, guys, right? There has to be a built-in incentive. What we do in Athlete X is in our challenges, we're able to push people so that we know that we're getting out of them what we need to get out of them. This is a way to ensure that. We do it every challenge and every single week of the program. This way, objectively, you know when you're improving. It's not just, oh, I feel better, I did a workout. We don't care about that. We want to know how much stronger you're getting, how much more you're accomplishing. The last part of the circuit here is a 100-yard sprint. When you're ready, go. And there he goes, off and running. Guys, 
when you're trying to train athletically, explosively, this is what Athlean X is all about. And again, all the components that you just saw there, proper technique and form, loading the muscles the way they should be loaded, letting the joints work the way they should, doing it in a way that you can objectively measure your gains. We have a goal here, under 20. Accommodating all different levels of strength, the 25 pound plate, the 35 pound plate, the 45 pound plate. All these things come together to make a progressive system that you can follow and make yourself better and know that you're, you're better 90 days from now. If you haven't already, guys, head over to athletenext.com, grab the program, see what it's like to start training like an athlete. I'll be back here again in seven days. In the meantime, we're going to go have Will do this one more time, work the other side on the farmer's walk, and hopefully still be alive by the time we're done. I'll see you guys back here next week.